What is going on guys? So I am fresh off of a 12 hour shift. Um yeah, worked my ass off today and well I fucked my back up pretty freaking bad. In fact it was messed up beforehand. I have a compressed disc in my spine due to a car accident about two years ago now. And uh it's right in the middle of my back and you know, there for you know a while it hurt and then it went away and you know, I didn't really feel the pain, you know, and then but I'm working this job since day one, the pain has become more and more frequent, and now it is a constant numbing, tingling, pins and needle feeling right where my disc is, and I'm actually worried that um, something might be going on, that um, something might be going on that's not okay, and I tried to explain this to one of the ladies today because she thought she was going to get my ass to work on one of the, to, to load a pit, load a, a trailer by myself today. And if you don't know what a trailer is, it's an actual back of a damn semi. And it was only going to be me. And there were like 350 boxes on the cart and two or 3,000 that still had to go on. And, you know, she walked up to me and she's like, hey, how are you? And I'm like, I'm good. How are you? She goes, can you do me a favor? And I'm like, well, sure, depends on the favor. She goes... Would you be, have you ever worked on the truck? I'm like, I have one time. She's like, would you be willing to do it today? And I'm like, not really. And she goes, why not? And I go, well, I've got a compressed disc in my spine that causes it, you know, it makes it a little bit harder for me to, you know, pick the boxes up, throw them on the fucking, you know, throw them up. This is a 10 foot fucking trailer I have to throw 50 to 100 pound boxes on. And I throw them up in the air, stack them all the way to the fucking roof from back to front. And I try to explain to her, you know, why that, you know, I can do any job in the damn warehouse, that's the only one that irritates my back. And I didn't know it irritated my back till like, the first time I actually did it. And I was, I was in so much pain, I was almost crying. My body was going numb and I was shaking. It was that level of pain. Uh, and it actually, pretty much mainly ever since that day, my freaking back has just wrenched me every day I try to do anything. Um, it doesn't matter when I'm awake or I'm asleep, it, it freaking hurts. But... She goes and looks at me. She goes, well, you do realize that being an outbounder, you're required to work everywhere. I'm like, I was already having a pissed off morning, so I just looked away. And to be honest, I had no fucking idea, but I said yes anyway. And that's usually just to shut them the hell up. And apparently because I have a, orange, a yellow vest instead of an orange vest, that makes people think that I'm someone they can come fuck with. And they are far from the fucking truth on that one, but... I told her, like, look, she's like... Because she asked me, would you be willing to? That's who asking me, hey, do you want to? And when I said no, she got offended by that. And she's like, well, you do realize that you're required to do that. And I'm like... Well, like, yeah. And I said, where in my contract did I sign that I'm supposed to hurt myself during this job because you feel it's appropriate? I looked at her and I said, if I hurt myself any more than I already have doing that job and every other medial job that I didn't sign up for, I said, I'm going to be down for dick. God damn, my filter is overproducing. What the hell is going on here? Ooh. My filter is doing too damn much. Look at this fucking thing. How do I slow it down? There's no pump function. I wonder if I pull this way. Is this supposed to be doing that? Or is this just a cheap ass fucking ghetto filter? Watch. Look at how dirty that filter already is. I change it absolutely nothing. And there's water bowing up the sides here and on the back. I mean, I knew about that. Let's go ahead and give it a, a trail to run down. And I should stop that, but it's... Yeah, see, it just comes right back. quickly I'm gonna go ahead and change this filter out because I don't think this filter is gonna work it's doing too much but you know I said that and she looks at me and she goes 
well, I'm gonna have to tell, I'm gonna have to tell, I'm gonna have to take you, and we're gonna talk to HR about this. And I'm like, all right, fine, what the fuck ever, you know? I have doctor statements saying they asked on the fucking paperwork if you had any uh, pre-existing injuries. I put my back. If they had one, they you had to put an explanation of what was going on. I told them compressed disc in my spine due to a car accident. And I got hit in the ass at 75 miles an hour. So, yeah, I think I'm pretty damn well entitled to say no to doing a job that I know can physically fucking hurt me, if not paralyze me. Uh, what, what was I doing? I, for, I forgot what I was going to do, actually. Uh, oh, the new filter. Where the hell are all the components? What did I do? Oh, here they are. They're in here. Brand new filter, it's got a weird battery packed up dealing on it, almost like it goes to a cigarette lighter. Here, give it a try, it's a, I think it's Aquatec. <laughs> I don't know, personally right now I am, oh fuck, I am absolutely in love with this little micro filter that I bought. This damn thing works so fucking good. This is a weird ass fucking. So I just I just put it in here like this, and then here's my filter. I think it cost me like ten bucks, ten twelve bucks from Walmart. Real cheap filter. It's got these uh, carbon bio bags inside of them, which are actually, in my opinion, really fucking cool. Uh, I don't know what the hell this is for. Maybe this is probably for a bacteria growth. That's what I would assume that's for. Look at the gap. Like, just that just doesn't seem. Well, we'll we'll try it. I mean. Worst case scenario, guys, we discovered that it's trash and I never buy another one like this again. Same with this one right here that I bought from, uh, I bought from, uh, Chewy. I'm getting ready to do the, uh, puffer, by the way, guys. Just give me a minute. I had to talk about that to somebody who actually, well, actually somebody who might listen. Um... Cause I was pissed the fuck off today, and I was telling everybody about that bitch, and I was calling her literally everything in the book but a white bitch. And I made sure that she fucking heard me every goddamn time I said something, because the bitch was following me and watching me all day, trying to catch me in some bullshit, because she thought I was lying and faking. Well, she took me back to HR. HR told me, well, can you have your doctor, uh, can you email a, uh, report that your doctor did and you know everything about that with your accident and I said sure easily okay the hell I'm not sucking up water I don't like that grinding so I'm gonna tell you that that's nauseating okay now we're getting some, now we're getting a normal sound out of it. Still not working. Somehow, somehow this is just not making any sense, but, nah, it just, it pissed me off because, she fucking followed me around all day, and I know she did, because anytime I start talking to somebody about her, she'd fucking pop up out of the woodwork. Anytime I turn around and look behind me, there she is. She's fucking looking through shells, watching me, trying to catch me in some bullshit. And... Whenever we were in HR, she pulled me off the job, which I ended up getting yelled at for, being ha for having time off task. Which... Absolutely pissed me the fuck off. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not, I'm not sure why this isn't working.
And as I told the HR lady, I'm like, yeah, I can bring the paperwork, documentations, you know, whatever you guys need, I'll bring it in. And this bitch goes and tells the HR lady that it doesn't matter, even if I do bring in paperwork, I'm still going to be asked and made to do the trucks. And it's like, are you fucking serious? Like, it doesn't, like, my paperwork don't mean shit. The fact that I can't do it doesn't mean shit. So, this stupid whore is officially on my fucking shit list. Something's, it's not working at all. Like, literally, look at this shit, dude. So I got this little piss. This, this, this not even a piss, it just stops. Trying to pour it in everywhere. Nothing's happening. This filter's trash. Do I have this right? Yeah, I have the pipe and everything correct. But there's no lock. It just it just clicks in. I mean, it seems like it's working, but I can't see through the pipe to see if it's sucking up water or not. Oh. A couple little tipsy noises here and there. Let me find out if it's sucking anything out really quickly. This is one way I test to see if the filters are actually working. Now. Take a little bit of fish food, mix it with some water, and just pump it in by the filter. And absolutely zero seconds. This sounds annoying as absolute hell. Right? And go. Uh, still no second at all. Goldfish is loving this, I'll tell you that. That sounds promising. See, it's not sucking up anything. Maybe I pour water in the hole before I put this in. Could that be a thing? I don't think I've discovered the secret. And there, it does not go again. So I take that out and I put water directly into the hole. It works perfectly fine. Actually, it fucking works pretty damn well as long as I pour water into the hole. It wants to work for a second and then it immediately stop. Really immediately, so okay. As it's right now, this one is just freaking garbage, guys. So there's water. There's the water. Okay, so one second. Maybe I just let it run for a minute. Let's try. It. Let's just let it run for a few minutes. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't like that sound. Back saying let it run for a few minutes and we're doing nothing but doing that. So fuck this filter guys. I didn't even suck anything. So let's go ahead and throw that away. I'm probably gonna check this thing. I probably I more than likely will. I'll do a little bit more research. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe it's just completely fucked up. 
as it's right now, guys, this little fucking... Oh, it's Aquatech 5 to 15, guys, so... Just for a, uh, a good reference, I'm actually going to go now and get the uh, puffer food. Which, the problem is, we have to play Find the Puffer. Because he's so goddamn little in here, I can hardly see him half the time. He's as small, he's, he's as small as the guppies, the baby guppies that I have in here. But turns out, the banjo catfish is not a pleco. Um, the banjo catfish is exactly that, a fucking catfish. Now, a pleco is a catfish. It's a species of catfish. But it's not a catfish. Technically it is, but it doesn't do what a catfish does, so... I hate this. I, I hate playing Find the uh, Puffer. I've got this other tank over here with a small filter. I might go and uh, pick up a bigger puffer and keep it in this tank. But the problem is with a bigger puffer, man, you gotta... They're dicks. They'll eat everything, literally. They'll eat fish and crustaceans and all kinds of shit. It's actually kind of funny, but... Can use this water really quickly to put some in the beta bowls. I have not got the tank set up, guys. I've just been swamped with work. I'm gonna get them set up here. And then I'm gonna get them set up tomorrow. I'm not gonna be able to do it tonight. I just, I truly, honestly, just don't even have the energy. Oh, there he is! Hey, little buddy. He's looking a little peckish. He's looking a little thin. I love how, though, whenever you have a tank that has water marks, as soon as you pour water into it, they're fine. By the way, I did end up treating this water, so... I'm not worried uh, if the fish will get sick or anything like that, but... Yeah, I am I am pissed off about that fucking Aquatech bowl, but... Dude, I will tell you right now, I absolutely love this teeny tiny little filter. I do, I love it to death, it's so fucking gorgeous. Like, it is the coolest little fucking thing I have ever bought in filter-wise. Trying to find the box because holy fucking shit. Okay, guys. So just for those of you who called me bullshit, these plants aren't growing at all in this aquarium. I want you to fucking look at this. Look at this shit. I'm gonna have to remove that one soon. Look at that thing. It's fucking huge. And there he is all fat and happy. The fuck is that? Oh, it's dead leaves. Dude, that pleco did a number. It's clearing up nicely. So we have a crab and a crab. I just saw a crab up here. I'm about to do a crab check. But yeah, I just looked up, and he was laying on top of the leaves, half out of the water. I'll tell you what it is, is that damn soil. Look at him, he's so cute. Oh, he's so happy. Oh, God, everything. What the hell has my pink toe been doing? My pink toe is webbing. She's a little skinny too. My pink toe has been refusing food for a while now, guys, and I'm worried about her. But she's making, I put her in here because her tank had mites and I have, I fucking broke her tank and I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do with her. I really don't. She's. She's got me worried, actually, man. That's the longest. That's, the, that's one of the first spiders that I actually got. But uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get the puffer for you.
Okay. It smells like sweaty down here. Anyway, the banging you heard was a delayed reaction to an upstairs event that just took place called me watching my video, my life, on my parents' TV. So, <laughs> I thought it was funny, but this little micro filter that I love so much is an aqua top. And it's a Forza 5 to 15 gallon aquarium. Which means I could easily put it in here and do some work, but uh, this is what I feed to the fish now, the frozen feeders. Uh, a lot of high protein. I love high protein diet when it comes to my animals. Uh, the only issue I have is trying to unthaw these bitches. <laughs> I just, I never have anything. Never have anything. Personally, that I believe is small enough. They're up there banging around now. They're watching the live again. It's funny as hell to me. Uh, God, I'm so fucking tired. My head hurts like hell. Just an absolutely shit day. Just an absolutely garbage fucking day. What? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but... I got water in that. I'll squirt that out. I try to... Bring your asses down here, or come to the stairs. I can't hear you. I literally, I literally can't. I'm trying to find something to let the, uh... I, you know what, I will use this container right here. It's really big, but... Soak up a little bit of this water. And, uh... These are micey shrimp. Apparently, they're really good to feed the fish. Heard a lot of people say they're better for salt water than they are fresh water, but I do not know, personally. Oh, here comes somebody. Hey! What? No, we're not watching your live feed at all. Oh, what do you want? Nothing. Oh, okay. We're just letting you know we're watching. Okay. And how did they were watching? Because how else would I say they were watching it? Anyway, <laughs> I'm even feeding this to my betas too. The betas actually love it, so I usually thaw out two or three cubes uh, whenever I do this. And the problem is, you end up having to open a couple of cubes at a time uh, because the material that's here just it flakes off so badly. Oh, that's a cool trick. Just push on the ass, it'll pop out. But you get like 30 squares. 35 squares for like four bucks. So, I mean, there's three containers that'll thaw out for a few minutes, and I'm um, gonna put these back in my freezer. These are Omega One Frozen, whole frozen M Y S I S shrimp. And there's a picture of an arowana on the front of it, and a couple flower horn and a flower horn, and it looks like some sort of parrotfish. And those are those are this I do believe is salt water. These two I do I know for a fact are fresh water. Not really sure what the hell that is at all. Though. Hopefully that won't get lost in the freezer, but if it does, next Friday I will find it back. Let me just mix them up for a few minutes here. Most people take these and they just throw them in the fish tank. I personally do not like that because it clogs the filter very fast. But these mice, these shrimp are just like brine shrimp. Oh, and I can't suck them up in this thing. That's lovely. But yeah, they just see they're just size of brine shrimp. Now I gotta find the freaking puffer. Because I don't even know if he's been eating the food I've been putting in here. I have... Oh, there he is. There we go. We have a little bit of something something in here. And especially with this stuff being shrimp, guys. Okay, he seemed not to want that. Let's see if the banjo does. 
What the hell happened? What's... Oh, the shrimp aren't in here anymore. Well, you know what is what that said at the bottom. One little piece isn't, in my opinion, going to be a problem. Here we go. We'll see. There we go. There we go. Looks like the uh, catfish has untagged that dude. Just gently kind of blowing the water around. I'm actually shocked the puffer didn't eat there, though. That was weird. Puffer fish are usually voracious. Hmm. So, this was a failed attempt at feeding betas. Um, I mean, not betas, but, uh, yeah, 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 you know what I mean, so. I'm actually going to off camera try feeding the babies because it's going to take forever and they know it's feed time. I've got these guys trained now. These are fat. These are healthy betas, man. I've been, been working my ass off with these betas to keep them well up. I don't like when my animals get sick. The cool thing about these is they're actually large. Full of protein. I don't have to feed them a whole lot of them. There he goes. Boom. Tagged it. So already I've fed the red koi. i fed the uh, orchid crown. i fed the yellow koi. I'm about to feed Connie, my little red female. I'm not too sure what Connie is, actually. So I'm running up to the top, though, once she sees it. And boom, game over. Predators, man. That's what people don't realize about betas. Betas are absolute predators. And uh, sadly, the blue female, uh, she didn't make it. And I'm not talking about Delta either. I'm actually talking about uh, the big blue female that I had. I don't know what happened to her. Speaking of Delta, she's coming rushing over to get some of this sweet, sweet food. Now, the main thing I don't like, personally, about this shrimp is it fucks up the water really badly. And what I mean by that is it just, it gives the water. It, you have the more frequent water changes in... To me, that's not a bad thing, but at the same time, it's not a very convenient thing. Just because of the way this stuff does smell, it is shrimp. Like, to smell it, it smells like a bait shop. So, I mean, it's it's pretty raunchy. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Looks like Delta might have an eye issue. Hang on a second, guys. Not sure what's going on there. So we're gonna pull it off this tank. She shouldn't have an eye. Should I just check on it? Looks like there might be some sort of growth parasite or something. I'm gonna pull her out. She does not like me doing this to her. I don't mess with Delta a whole lot. She just gets fed and then moved. I'm gonna get you, and I got you. Alright, let's get you in the quarantine tank really quickly. Oh, yeah, I think we have an ammonia buildup in your tank, and I didn't realize it. That's exactly what happened. So, Delta is going to go into this aquarium, the new one, with the filter. Because, let's face it, guys, Delta was the original. Delta needs a good update, so...
Delta is officially now the first to be introduced into the new little aquarium. And it's already pumping water and all that good shit. <laughs> so, Delta's tank can now be used for well, something else in the future. I'm not smelling anything and the plants are, the plants are living, so... I think what happened is this one started to rot and break down. Hmm. This little dude did fine. Look how green he is. Hmm. Oh, and I tore off one. Of, I tore off the only root. So what we're gonna do with him is we are going to throw him in with the yellow one. It's an ammonia buildup, so it's not gonna be contagious. It's not get you know transfers. Um. So I'm not worried about putting that little piece of plant in there. Uh, but with Delta, what I am going to do is I am going to put it in. I am going to have to sacrifice. That's the thing. Like, you can't have... You, I want to lit on betas, but betas jump out. I mean, I think I'm all right. But how do I put this? I want to have the filter on the beta tanks because it's going to keep them nicer longer. But that's going to be 8 or 10 filters, um, which will be the issue. But if I end up, if I use one as a divider... And use a filter for each divider because now I'm down a beta. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six betas now. <laughs> and the problem is, if it wasn't for the fact that my males have asinine attitudes, I would, you know, put them with other fish. But they're just too mean. All my male betas are just absolutely aggressive. Even my females. The only reason I put that blue female in my actual aquarium was due to the simple fact that she was not aggressive towards anything. Like, not even not even her own reflection. Like, she never flared out once at it. And now this is going to do its whole grinding BS. So I fill it full of water. Which I did get a comment saying mm -hmm. so I have more water in my tank. The reason I don't have more water in my tank uh, at the moment is because I haven't done it yet. And uh, that's about the main reason I just haven't done it yet. I've been working my ass off. I've been getting distracted. And I've been dealing with quite a bit of shit here recently, especially from work. And uh, it's just, if you guys don't work and you don't work in like an industry in a warehouse, you're not going to understand what I'm saying. But it's, it's very, very taxing for your body. Like, the job I do normally is absolutely a fucking cakewalk. You know, that's why I signed up for it. It's something easy I can do. It's not going to hurt my back. And then they're raping me with every other fucking department they can think of. It's pissing me the hell off now. And it's all because I have a vest. And I got upgraded my first two weeks of being there. So people expect me to do everything. And the fact that I'm... 100% of the time, except for this 1% of the time today, where I was no longer a yes ma'am, no ma'am, or no sir, yes sir, I was a fuck you and go away type person. Which is alright to be. You can be that way, you know? You don't have to be friendly all the fucking time. And that's why I'm usually the way I am, I'm not always friendly. Because when people think you're friendly, people take advantage of you. And I don't like being taken advantage of. Personally, not one of my things, but... I'm just going to take a little bit of the aquarium water, kind of as a starter for the beta tanks. And then what I'll do is I will actually go ahead, lay out two or three gallons, put the start right into it, take the chemicals and the heavy metals out of it, and then go from there because I'd love to get the betas out of their setups into something real. Well, the problem I don't like about these tanks, guys, is the fact that they're round. Like, I knew they were round when I bought the damn things, but that, that's not the point. I mean, I thought they'd, you know, look better, but they're so fucking... They're cute, don't get me wrong. I like, I do, I do to a point like the way they look, but... Just to me, guys, it just seems like... Come here, King. Don't 
Don't be a dick. I know your tank is small, but I'm going to get you out of here into a giant setup now. Oop. And there King goes. King is now officially inside of one of these tanks. And the only issue that I'm having now is space once again. So, I've got to figure out where I can put the betas. I mean, I can put them all up here, and I can annex these things, and actually I can do that now. So, you know, King's out of there. That can be, you know, put up. I'm about to take him out of there. These are... This is dead. This is a dead culture. So I can go in the trash. This can go in the trash. Didn't even know that was up there, but it's going in the trash. It looks like he hit his point of exploration. He's still alive, but I don't think he'll be alive much longer. Those guys only live for a couple of days, usually a, a week or two after they mature into their final molt. They're mature, you know, long before their final molt, but once they hit that final, final molt, where their pay become actually black and they get real long and lanky, they usually have, I don't know, from what I fucking read, if it's true, you know, three to four days to a month if they're lucky, so... I mean, he's liable to go another week, but he, just, he looks like he's going to punch his clock out pretty soon. That's kind of a bummer, but anyway, why do I still have that? That's what I bought the, the hose for and everything else like that. I bought oxygen hose for the aquariums and for my bubbler. I don't remember what I was using this for. That tank back air is clearing out nicely without the filter on it. Even without having a filter on your frame side. I was really hoping to have three filters, but apparently only have, you know, one that actually works. Ooh, you're kind of color to change on. Don't know what the hell that's about. A lot of stuff over here. Good fucking god, man. That's my little, these little plastic pearls I got from my Beanie Baby, and uh, I thought they were a certain type of plastic that they uh, use for fake fangs and things like that. Cause it's the same kind. It's just you can't boil this one because whenever you boil those, they uh. They kind of melt. Yep, water is no longer stagnant smelling, so that is that's a good sign on that. I'm just happy about that. I need the plant to take it over. This one is raunchy as hell. This has the algae and stuff in it. Doesn't look too good actually. It looks like it died. Let's go ahead and move this onto the floor. I got the tanks set up and already, so I missed a tank. Why am I missing a tank? I only have five tanks because there should be six. Huh. Oh, they're not open. Oh, there's only five here. Now, what the hell is that all about? I'm missing the tank? How is that even possible? I would see it down here. This room isn't that cluttered. Hmm. Oh, here it is. 
not able to see. Okay, so. Yeah, it definitely, definitely does have some sort of eye issue. Uh, going on right now due to the ammonia levels, they got too high, so I'm going to take out four gallons from the from the aquarium. I'll just add it in later. Like I said, I'll just start right, let it sit for, I'm going to say, it says immediately, but I, I'm a little more cautious than that when it comes to that kind of shit. I'll let it sit for a fucking hour. Maybe 35, 40 minutes at best. That is the lowest I'll let it, that's the lowest I will let it sit. And don't worry, like I said, the tank's been icked. And what's wrong with that one fish's tail is more than likely that damn catfish has swipe at him. Which, I... I had a feeling that he he looked more like a catfish than a pleco just by the mouth. The mouth did not scream pleco. It didn't scream suckerfish. It screamed predator. It screamed. It screamed. Literally, I will eat your aquarium pets. <laughs> it, it just screamed literally catfish. So, with this water being egg treated and it's also got cleaning chemicals in it, because I did go out and buy these tablets that they help clean your tank and. Uh, I don't know how to put it. Like, if you're if you're having issues with your aquarium and your fish, uh, and they're you know getting some sorts of like gill rot and things like that, you know, it, it's got a lot of different medications. I can't remember what the fuck it's called though. It's been like three dollars on it. Came with like two tablets, and I had to use both of them because you had to use one per ten gallons. So. Not that big of a deal. The thing is, some of you are like, "Well, you need to, you need to, uh, uh, you know, you need to uh, set your fish up. You need to, uh, you need to, you need to let them acclimate." Well, the thing is, guys, not really. With my betas, they're in my room. My room stays a constant 79, 79 to eighty-five degrees, and that is winter round. So, right now, all of my animals' tanks are sitting at roughly, I'd say, eighty-five. Uh, no, 75 to 80. That's the, uh, 75 is the lowest I would go. I don't have my heat gun right now, but I can tell you right now I'm sweating down here. So I know my, I know it's warm and the tanks are a little cool, but that's only because my, my room is so damn hot. I'm going to have to uh, scrape the uh, sediment out of here in a minute. Stay forever. It, it's not really making much of a dent in the aquarium, I'll tell you that. I'm only going to half these last two for now. So four gallons, that's going to be absolutely simple as can be to do. That'll take me two or three minutes to do. I don't know if I like the puffer fish being in here with the catfish. I feel like the catfish is like trying to snack him. And I really fucking don't want that, guys. I don't want to come in and find my puffer fish bloated inside of the catfish's stomach, you know? I'm actually going to end the live, and then when I end the live, I'm going to go, uh, maybe get started on the water. Even though my back is fucking killing me, guys, I still come home every day. You can ask anybody. In my house, or anybody that knows me and comes over to my house, the first priority when I get off work is to check on every animal to make sure everybody has food, water, and is in good condition. And there we go. So I can add this back in. And the cool part is, right now, what's going on is I probably take out maybe three, four inches of water. So, what's happening now? is the 
filtration system, the filtration system is putting in a little bit of overtime, pushing out the water at the same rate it was, but at the same time, now what's happening is there's oxygen bubbles being pushed really deeply into the aquarium. So I am I am actually happy about that. Tiny, where you at, girl? Yeah, you're. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna make the uh, put tannins in the water this round, guys. I just when you do tannins, you get the scum on top, and I don't like the fucking scum. It's just disgusting and over time. It smells bad. I mean, it keeps the ammonia levels down, but at the same time, it's in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Which is funny because Delta didn't have any, and Delta is the one with eye issues, but everybody else is doing absolutely freaking fine. Like, I'm not seeing any sort of issues on any of the betas. I'm trying to snag him in a container that's got weird sides. There we go, I got him. Come on, little buddy. Bring your plants over with you and everything. Who's next? Where is yellow? Yellow is... Where the fuck did I put yellow? Come here, Dumbo. Yeah, you're quick as hell, dude. Dumbo's, man, have got to be, like, the fastest species of bait I've seen so far. These damn things just burn through it. Where the hell did I put him? Where oh, he's back here on the ground. And now, guys, every beta inside of this house is now in a one gallon or more enclosure. Ah, it feels nice, man. It feels great to actually be able to have them in a real, a real setup now. This is actually growing. It's nothing more than a root, but look. It's got little black vines coming off it. I feel like people are stomping upstairs trying to get my attention. And I'd really appreciate it if they stopped I'm trying to focus here. I really don't want to get any of this shit all over me. I don't feel like I happen to take a bath. Which I actually have pipe in my bathroom blue today, so that was that was nice to have to wake up to. Sadly I wasn't able to stay home and fix it. Or at least some crazy that helped fix it. My dad was the one that's the handyman right here. I'm muscle, he's handy, man. So this stuff's still growing nicely, so I'm actually going to put this... And it smells great. I'm actually going to put it in the Dumbo's Aquarium. I mean, he's used to it. Even the algae. Look at this. The algae's green. It's healthy. I mean, that's that's what I'm talking about right there. And there's my little moss ball. It still smells absolutely fabulously. The moss ball's going to go in someone else's enclosure, actually. Someone else needs it for a while. We're going to put that with King. And... A little puffer is just jetting across the tank sideways looking for everything. I just let everybody know who potentially watch this in the future since I work at a Chewy now. Uh, apparently, we have Jackson Galaxy cat supplies. So. All Chewies have them. I had no idea until today, and I've been there a month, and today was the first time I had seen anything about it. And I was like, I've been to this aisle a thousand times, and not once have I ever noticed that. There's a rock inside of here. Chunks that'll float around in here. Mm 
I almost wonder if I could split the bulb uh, of these. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to call them asparagus plants because I can never remember the damn name. Um, if I could split the bulb and uh, grow that plant still without the, with just the bulb. Like split it and then, you know, separate into other aquariums. I mean, it's still a seed. So, I mean, I don't know if it would still grow or not, but, you know, damn it, it's worth a shot. You still got bits of shrimp floating around in here and everything. So, here's another little container that I have to contain with uh, doing something with, which more than likely I will just throw it away. Uh, but, yeah, guys, so that's going to be the live. Here's a little puffer fish trying to hide behind the phone, which is absolutely adorable. And there he goes, just jetting away, like nothing's going on, and he's not here at all. He does not like the camera, but he is stunning. He's got a blue patch on his back, that's gorgeous. Now, I'm not sure if I should order another puffer, like a small baby one. Uh, I don't know if they're communal or not. Uh, the dude didn't tell me, and I didn't do a whole lot of research. I'm not even sure that what kind of puffer this is now. I'm not sure if it's a pea puffer or a uh, another one that he talked about. I'm going to have to grab my catfish really quickly and look at the belly. Someone said if their bellies are, if their bellies are flat, then they're not healthy. His belly's flat. So, I wonder what he, uh, what all he eats though. Like, that's just... That's just a real question I have. He's just sitting in my hand right now. There he goes. But I guess they don't swim hardly. They just kind of like scoot across the bottom. There he goes. I wanted to see him swim, so I kind of bumped him a little in the ass. Oh, shit. So... I'm going to come over here now, and I'm going to feed this. i got to throw these boxes away. Remind me to do that. Bag of shells here and all kinds of other crap. So I'm going to set you here. I'm going to try to feed him these guys. I've been having a bit of an issue because he's blind in one eye. I've really got to show it to him. He ran from it, so I'm not even going to try that right now. The goldfish look ready, though. They always look ready, though. They're predators. I didn't know goldfish were such savages, man. I always thought goldfish were like these stupid little fish who want affairs. I was never really like a... Like a tank person until here recently. I just... I don't know. I needed another outlet. It's another... That'll get the little guys going. I don't like that damn glare. That pisses me the hell off, dude. But yeah, I mean, just look at these. All natural, 100%. There's no scum on top. These plants are growing huge. No scum on top. Plants are growing nicely. Sprouts are starting to come off. This one's even, look at them. Look, look, they're growing up to the roof now. I haven't even looked at them for a couple days, for like a day and a half now. The grass, I don't think is going to make it, but there is one crab and there's two crabs. I do believe the third crab is hiding still, so. These shrimp are like, feed us, dickweed. Enable flash really quickly. There we go. It's like, these pipettes don't suck up very... Oh, well, that was lovely. Here, watch this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Guppies will converge. And there's the pleco in the back right there. Just give me a second, guys. I'm actually going to set the phone down. I'm going to try to see if uh, I have any ghost shrimp left in here. I just, I haven't looked for them in days due to the fact of I haven't seen any. So I was not seeing any, I haven't really bothered to look either. I'm actually going to take some of these shrimps down here to the big guy. 
they're not if they're not ripped off beforehand. Yeah, but I had no idea that goldfish would eat shrimp and things like that. I thought they were just little bottom feeders that you fed pellets to. And hey, these goldfish, man, they're they're fucking fat, dude. I, I figured they would have been dead by now. The main reason I, I thought that is because goldfish just tend not to live very damn long, you know. Pleco took off. Don't know where the pleco is. This isn't a constant diet, by the way. This is like every every couple of days or so. I give them a block. I give you know, out a block or so. Uh, so this stuff will probably last me you know three weeks at best. But uh, I don't want to overdo the aquarium. But at the same time, I do have bottom feeders and everything else living in here if the shrimp are still kicking. But the crab I know will do work. The corridor he'll do work. The goldfish will definitely do work. The guppies will pick up all the bottom. And if there are any ghost shrimps in here, the ghost shrimps will also eat the dead shrimp. So. Yeah, look at that. we have a ghost shrimp actually eating your shrimp right now. And there we go. See the little ghost shrimp? He's back here picking up off the bottom. So I've got a pile right here of dead shrimp. And there goes another ghost shrimp taking off with one. So, guys, ghost shrimp eat everything. Literally, even other shrimp. Look at this. He is swimming away with this thing. He is going to take this home and take it to Narnia. Let me throw off a little piece. Watch a guppy pick it off. Watch. Watch a guppy. Watch for the guppy. Oh, no guppy. But, yeah, there he is. He's coming closer to the camera now. You ever seen a shrimp eating a shrimp? How cool is that? And now he's gonna start to dissect it. Look at him stuffing his mouth gone. And there he goes with it again. And we got this dude back here. Whoa, does that one have some claws or what? Oh no, that's just plant matter. Okay, I was like, ho, 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 holy shit. Okay, so that's, that's epic. So the shrimp are a good, they are a pretty damn well cleaning crew right there. Uh, I'm actually going to pull the, uh, the light itself off. The plants are actually growing up through my lid here. I didn't realize that. And now they're off. I'm going to have to... I See, I should be able to just cut them off. And with me cutting them off, I should be able to throw them back in the water and they'll sprout out. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to collect some of these right here. And I'm just going to squirt them in the back of the tank for the uh, crabs because that's where they hide. And I can actually see them back here, so I know they're back here. <laughs> the corridor just snatch a shrimp and took off with it. And it's gone. The guppies will converse. And they'll pick at him, but the guppies really don't like him that much, I guess. I don't see no claw anywhere by it, actually, at the moment. I'm a little bummed out by that. I think no claw might have got picked off. Oh, no, that's no claw. Is it? That is. That's no claw. So where the fuck's mama at? You always gotta look, man. She's a sneaky bitch, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna kind of scoot this crab this way, see what's going on. There she goes. Come on, get out of there. I want to see you. I'm not your hands here. 
God, my fucking back. There you go, here's your good little picture of both my males here. And there's a little bitty ghost shrimp. Look, he little, he little bitty guy. He goes in there and picks him up the bottom. Come here, mama. Ow. Let go. I don't want to hurt the... Ow. Quit it. You know I don't want to hurt the babies. We're getting close, guys. I'd say maybe at best. I'd say at best there's a. I'd say at best we have a week until she drops the babies. She was just over here picking at the fish, so I spooked her. But I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know how well I like the the fish that are inside of inside of this aquarium. I mean, that's a bigger aquarium, and I feel like the goldfish would be a lot happier. But at the same time, I'm sitting back looking at him, and I'm thinking of separating the baby puffer so I could focus on the puffer more. But that's a beautiful setup, and I don't want to take him out. So what I might do is. Next, God damn, I have a lot more ghost shrimp than I thought I did. I got like four or five of these things running around here. Uh, I might go and pick up another one of these. These things are like $25 a fucking piece, but I don't know if it would be. It'd definitely be worth it, and I could pick up another $8 worth of plants, so $36 is what that would roughly cost me to do. And then I have the gravel and everything else like that. And all I have to do is put the plants in there with the dirt. I still have a bunch of the dirt. I actually dried it out. It's like it's like a clay upstairs. This is actually pretty damn cool. Uh, I think the lid back on the crab on the tank real quick. The crabs will get out. I didn't think the plants would grow very well out of the water, but my dipshit ass is just now remembering that these plants that I see all the time when I'm at, when I'm fishing are the ones that I'm always throwing my frog lure through and they're the ones always getting wrapped up and they're growing about a foot and a half out of the water. So I think I'm actually going to end the live here guys real quick. I'm going to turn around and let you see the betas just to show everybody that they're in their new setups here. One gallon, there's, there's King Midas, there's Delta, there is Connie, there is Fry, there is uh, the Super Dumbo, which I think we named Nemo, and then Bart. Who is just right down there chilling in his little hangout spot. Go watch this. You ready to watch Connie? By the way, she's right under my finger. <laughs> now, I would love to have all these betas set up with these little micro filters, but it's just not practical. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Boom. Hey Midas, you hungry? You want some more? He's pecking at the liquid. I love that. Here we go. Got him a whole shrimp. He'll snack it right out. Boom. We'll pop it out. Let it flow to the bottom. He'll find it later. Connie, you want some more, girl? Huh? Oh my god, that was a lot. Shit, that's too much for her. Shit, I, won't, I can't suck it up. Here we go. Look at Fry. He knows. Boom. Look at that. Taking it right away from me like he's a like he's a puppy. Here we go. Bop. And now my little boy Bart. Come on. Come on top. Here we go. Here he comes. Come on, boy.
I mean, he's pecking at him. He's he's skittish. I wouldn't expect them to really want to eat after being moved. This might just be the new recording spot. Yes, totally semen. It's definitely not shrimp. Um, but yeah, so all the new betas have their little one-gallon setups. I'd like to go to 2.5s like I have that dude, but that's 25 bucks a piece right now. It's not really practical. That's what... 50, 100... $150 that I just I don't have to spare. That's pretty much my entire budget. Uh, including uh, money for uh, my lunch at, my lunch at work. So as of right now, these little one gallons will be more than sufficient. They definitely they definitely beat this right here, which I took all the plants out as you guys saw, and then this right here, which is full of tannins from almond and uh, well almond or catapolis, whatever you want to call it. But I'm gonna go ahead get their water set up, get it re back in the aquarium. Uh, I'll probably need like I said four gallons is roughly what I took, maybe five. I'll go ahead and fill it almost all the way up. Uh, and then we will go from there. But like I said, I'll pour the uh, solution inside of it, which... I don't know where the fuck my bags went, actually. How do I, how do, I do this? Oh, okay, here's some of the stuff from the bag. My oxygen hose and stuff like that. That's, that's good to know where that is. stupid-ass filter that I don't even need anymore because it fucking filters trash. Um, shelves. I do not know where my bag of stuff is now, and it was down here well, right before last when I was actually down here in the room. It's probably in the drawers, I'm just missing it, but. But yeah, I'll have to find all my stuff in a minute. So I'm going to get off you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, these live streams are being way too long. So as you guys wish, and prices granted it finally. Like I said, these little tanks right here, they are, what are they called? They're top fins. They're beta tanks. They're actually three segmented inside, but the segments come out. Makes it a solid one-gallon aquarium, and all my betas are in it. And even Delta has a micro filter, which is a $13. Uh, what is it? It is an... Uh, aqua top uh, these things go up to doing 40 to 80 gallons and with how quiet these are I think this will be my brand uh, because this I can hear the vibration this right here it's subtle but you barely hear anything but yeah guys so on that note like I said like comment subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time